hey everybody had a little sneak peek of that deck right there um metagross i've added him in <coughs> just to see how he'll run uh thanks to x defend and x clan um he chucked him into his deck and i know oh that's right he got that buff now he's doing 100 rather than 90 and with running him with a little pink bird of mine he's going to be actually useful um and i'll go up against x gig awesome i just saw that he was started streaming a little while ago so this may even be on his stream which is awesome so i'll probably go and check that out after this um and for any of you guys who don't um watch giggity gaming check him out you can see how he plays against me um so i notice he's got a now a coco and a mega gengo which he never used to have so he must have invested some mats into them definitely so I'm going to put my Coco just in there, up into the middle, see if I can lure him down to attack me with his, but no, he's better than that, um, he, he's just going to go defensive, block it off, so what I'm going to do next is go defensive with my little pink bird, so I just want to get that out so my I can start getting some C levels for my mons, and since Mega's come, uh, since Gengar's coming out, I want to put my Krillia out, it's pretty cool using Krillia again. Um, boom. Blocked off Mega Gengar threat right there. So he's sitting up for the surround with Rizin. But the surround with Rizin isn't actually a great idea with Coco. As Coco can knock it out if I go gold on purple or white on 40. Um, although he would double chance, I'm sure. So looking for damage on damage and I get it, which is awesome. So now... That puts him into a position where he's got to try and defend against Coco coming to his entry or his goal. So, oh, let's see how he wants to defeat that. Oh, and he goes for Mega Gengar. Mega Gengar in front. So, what I can do, he's got a goal block. I'm just going to go push myself right up by his goal. And try and force him to burn that goal block plate. So... Let's see how he wants to play this. Yep, he's definitely going for that gold block. He doesn't want to risk it. Gold block for Rizin, which I was expecting. I didn't think he'll take Gengar away. Um, I'm just going to go defensive with Mew, because I'm guessing he's going to make a Gengar down to the corner anytime soon. Um, I could have put my Krillu in front, but then I'm just opening up that lane. So he goes defensive with Sceptile. That's interesting. Because he's burnt his gold block, that's his only chance. I'm now going to push up with my Krillia and see if I can just put pressure on his entries. So he comes in with a chicken and attacks. So I'm looking for my white on white or my gold on his purple. I'll get the white on white and that is, that is awesome. That is awesome. Stop the blaze from coming out. And Zapdos. Um, one of the interesting thing is my weight overrode his weight. That he don't... The chicken normally gives you four weight, but I only got one because of my skill. That's pretty cool. So right now he's max reviving. Wow. So getting his Coco out and coming down the side, he I would have thought, wow. I would have thought he might have stepped down into the middle and tried to attack my Coco or something, but I'm just going to drop my Metacross here so he can't attack Mew. He can't get to Mew right now. Um, he was going to get surrounded. He'll have to take two turns to try and get there. And then I can defend against him better. So it's just a deterrent really. So if Zapdos attacks, I'm hoping for my 40. I want to get Zapdos confused. Oh, the must. That would have been a perfect time to get a Psycho Switch. Just saying. Um, so now I've, I've, he's taking my mods out and I need to... I need to be a bit more offensive, so I've got to go double chance. Probably my best shot will be Zapdos. Um, Zapdos into Gengar. So let's do this. Um, hopefully we don't get see any blue. And I see yellow. That's what I want to see. So here we go. Uh, my white. <laughs> Come on, Reese Fim. Not white. Not white or red. Roost. Okay, that's better than... That right there is better than a loss, so I'll take that. Um, I now expect him to jump over me, yeah. 
and now he's threatening with Miggy Ginga to jump onto the goal. So because of that, I have to defend my goal either with Mew or my Pink Bird. So he's got that counter attack. He's got the Miggy Ginga. Um, I'm gonna put my little Pink Bird. See if I can't lure him to attack the Pink Bird. Um, I'd like that. I've killed a few Gengas and Mega Gengas with it already. <sighs> that Confuse. Confuse is such an amazing status effect. He moves for this round, but it's going to be too late for him. I've now got to burn another double chance. And hopefully this time I can get some gold. So, we'll see what we can get. Yeah, there we go. His turn to get some blue and white. <laughs> So, there we go, double chance paid off, two mons in his PC, and now I need to get a little bit more aggressive. Um, my defenders are fairly good all down along the bottom. Oh, he comes in with Coco, which is interesting. So what I'm going to do here, um, I'm just going to move over Metagross 1, just in case Coco comes and attacks Mew and takes it out. I want to be able to replace Mew. Um, so, looking for my blue. Shadow Flip is what I want. Uh, oh, miss. Okay, that is far better than the Shadow Flip. I'll definitely take that miss most days. So, I'm just going to back Coco off onto this entry where he's all alone. I want to get him away from that chicken. Because I've got an okay chance of beating it, but... I'd rather not try. I want to attack into his um, Verizon right now. I'm looking for that gold. Gold on his 100 or his purple. But um, that's again. Ouch. Now that hurts. Um, he now has to follow up with his Sceptile. And what I can do now. I've got Max Revive, Hurdle Jump and Swap Spot left. So I'm actually going to come back here and look for some more gold, go gold hunting and try and take out this chicken. And I get it. And I I love that. So just he's just cycling his mons. I'm in a quite a good position right about now. Um, his Zapdos has no sea levels. So it's not a good position for him to attack into me. And I've put a hurdle jump back into this deck. I used to use it all, all the time. And now that I'm seeing more... Zap those Coco Ginga combos. I'm finding I need it um, for that hurdle jumping Coco and the ones that hurdle jump you. So that's why I put hurdle jump back in here. All right, looking for my purple. Come on, give me that purple on his white roost. I'll take a roost. And now that I'm taking a roost, what I'm going to do, I probably don't need a max revive but I'm going to do it anyway just so I can get all my mods on the board I probably could have ran around it with Mew and go 1, 2, 3 up into that corner but I want to get all my mods back on board it may have been a waste for Krillia but we'll see how that goes I'm guessing he's going to be attacking my Coco and he is so Coco coming down looking for that gold on oh, white on white would have been fine or my gold on his purple um, it'll be interesting to see a Metagross at 3 MP. That thing will be a monster. So if I get into a good position, I'll definitely try and take that sometime. Um, I'm just going to back up that entry right about now. Because that was inevitably, inevitably going to happen. Um, moving Krillia up. Ending there. Hopefully we can get my purple on his white or 60 on 50, or just his blue and purple, but no, I'll definitely take a um, Confuse any time though. So I can go up and attack Zapdos, um, but to be honest, it's better if I don't, uh, because Zapdos is fairly useless when he's confused. Um, gold is a giant miss, he already misses enough as it is. But I'm just going to move across and get close to jump on my goal with that middle cross. And well, there's no point in me rushing right about now. I'm not going to gain anything from it. So what I'm actually going to do is chuck middle cross on goal first hand. 
and then I'll probably look to take go for his Verizon with my Mew and hopefully take that out. So actually I don't want to put him right down on my entry and get him blocked in by Zapdos just yet. If the Brazilian comes down onto my entry point, all right, now is the time I'll definitely try and attack. So, what I can also do is try and confuse it. All right, or roost, or 50 on 40 would have been nice. Um, because if, was if Brazilian is confused, then he's going to be rolling purple and miss, pretty much reliably. And that Mew can handle. So, Zapdos coming over. He's not going to be attacking, he's just going to be moving down to my entry. He's going to be, yeah, he should be pretty useless at the moment. So, what I want to do now, since I've got weight still on my little pink bird, I probably need to, um, I'm just going to attack the Zapdos. Now is my chance to get a mon advantage, I don't have to have it blocking in my entry. There we go, confuse into the into the mist, that's, that's what I needed, so he can attack me with Coco, try and take me out with Coco, and then I get my Coco back, so that won't be too bad, or maybe he'll miss again, right, 30 on 30 for the win, loving these extra sea levels on Mew and uh, my <laughs> Metagross, but I'm just going to back up while I, until I can get my, uh, my little Coco out. So, what I'm going to do now is I want to drop my Coco down into my bottom corner. And this way I'm out of range from the chicken. But I can go up next to it and attack um, Coco because, it, yeah, I had a feeling he was going to move down. So, I want to go up and I want to attack Coco. If I can take this out, then I can either shut down his entries. Um, no, so blue going down. Um, yeah, but, but. Tai, 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 um, a bit the same, ditto, as some uh, Pokey fans like to see, ditto in this game would be pretty cool, there's so many different possibilities, um, looking for my not that, looking for my not that is what we're looking for, <laughs> so Blaziken coming out, and it's not looking very good for me here, um, but, as you know me, it's not on me to forfeit, it's not on me to give up. I've only got a swap spot, I've got nothing else I can use. So, the only thing I can hope for is attack Blaze and go my 50 on his 30. Or miss. Oh, wow. Wow. <sighs> I did not actually expect that. Um, that is awesome. So... Right now, I can shut off next turn, depending on what he's doing here. If he moves his Coco, um, he attacks his Coco. Alright, if I get my white, alright, I can get my miss. And I will get my miss. So, that's alright. So, the first turn, Critter is going to come up. I want to go up and see if I can block off that Mega Ginga and Coco. I still don't think he hasn't pulled his Mega Ginga yet. He's been quite conservative with it. Which is good, that's the best way to use um, Mega Ginga. Uh, so, he hasn't used the play, he's still got a counter attack as well. I'm just going to drop Krillia in front of Mega Ginga for now, or Ginga, and then get my Mew running up the other side. So, alright, so he sees that he's going to go around with his Ginga, and what I'm going to do now, there's, there's no need to hold back, I'm just going to go up and attack, hopeful that yellow on purple. Um, 50, 50 on purple, <laughs> alright, 50 on purple it is, so, not quite what I wanted, but I would have loved some yellow right then, um, I've, I've actually got three Mews, and one of them I'm now leveling up, this one's all Shadow Flip, and always oh, popping his main Mega Ginga, and my other one I'm leveling up to be all gold, because I'm finding sometimes it'll be better, I actually want a gold Mew. So looking for my purple right about now, or that white on white would have been perfect. Confuse that Mega Ginga and better knock him out. So what I want to do here, I'm attacking with Zapdos because I want to just take this guy out, and I do. Um, if he rolled 30, it was a knockout. If he rolled single 90, it was a, my 
my match to win. Now he has to back up with Coco, attack Zapdos, and win. If he if he doesn't win, if I roll my gold or my blue, I'm gonna move up and surround with Mew, and that's gonna be it for him. So as I always say, whenever Mega Gengar or anybody comes out, the best thing to do is put pressure on them. He gets the miss. Thunder Charge for the win. There we go. Mew gonna be jumping up, surrounding that Coco. Take that. Mew Zapdos Coco sandwich. Uh, good game, Gig. If you're watching this later, good game. I'm definitely gonna be going down checking. You. Oh, he's got the last chance with Verizian. Wow. If he gets uh, purple on my white, ah oh, yes, I get the purple. I get the purple. That's awesome. Confuse that Verizian. Um. I can't move Krillia for a sound surround, even if I wanted to, so I better just take the win while I've got it. Um, he would have been surrounding next turn. Good game. That was a that was an intense match. I'm definitely gonna go and see if it's on his stream right after this. And if you guys weren't watching his stream, go check it out. See how he commentates and how he plays uh, versus my deck, versus how how I say he plays. Well, I call the plays, but. Love to hear from you guys, this little pink bird doing marvellous things, the sea levels on Mew and on uh, Metagross, great thing. So that's going to be all, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching and see you guys soon.